Assalamualaikum and hi to all. So this is part six video of XG chapter one. So in this video, I'm going to explain the decrease of XG principle. The decrease of XG principle. XG destruction. So we already look into the energy balance equation and from the energy balance equation, we already derived the XG balance equation. And the, in the XG balance equation, we have uh, additional uh, equation, which is the irreversibilities. So what is irreversibilities? So in this chapter or in this video, I'm going to explain the irreversibilities. So irreversibility is coming from the friction missing chemical reaction, heat transfer through a finite temperature difference, unrestrained expansion, non-quasi-equilibrium compression, or non-quasi-equilibrium expansion. Basically, irreversibility is the losses of the system. So when there is a losses in the system, it will generate an entropy. So entropy generation can be calculated by heat by using this equation, which is delta S equal to Q divided by 3. And this uh, entropy generation will determine the energy which are not available for work or to waste energy. So uh, let's say we have a wall and medium 1 and with the temperature 1. And then we have medium 2 and temperature 2. Uh, actually, this is the same uh, explanation we already explained in previous video. So this is the heat transfer through the system, uh, through the wall, from medium 1 through the wall to medium 2. And the Q is equal uh, throughout the system. So in the case of entropy, which is from the equation of Q divided by T1, uh, in medium 1 uh, compared to medium 2, is smaller than uh, is smaller so in medium to the entropy there is a entropy generated from the system so we know from uh, the irreversibility or the one that i mentioned in the early of this video say that uh, there is a when there is a losses there will be an entropy generated so it is the destroy it destroy the xg so from the xg equation which is exit equal to 1 minus t not divided by t times q and we expand it uh, by uh, input the uh, or times the q inside the uh, equation then we get the exit equal to q minus t not times q divided by t and from this we, we can see that q divided by t is the entropy so in here let's say we look at the uh, xg uh, from the heat so uh, 1 minus t naught divided by t1 times q is the xg at medium 1 and at medium 2 the xg is 1 minus t naught divided by t2 times q so here we have the xg destroy so from this relation we know that xg destroy is directly proportional to the uh, entropy generator so from this relation we know that xg destroy equal to t naught time xg generator and it should be larger than zero however in actual process the xg destroyed uh, is uh, times the t node equal to t node time uh, entropy generated is larger than zero because we know we have losses and some of it is irreversible so if the irreversible process higher then the xg destroy also will be higher for the case of reversible process the xg destroy is equal to zero because there is no losses no xg destroy because all of it can be reversible and transferred truly without any uh, losses so from this uh, process, we can summarize the type of process for a reversible process, x destroyed or xg destroyed should be larger than zero. For reversible process, the xg destroyed should be equal. And for the impossible process, which is cannot be happen, cannot be happening, the xg destroyed is lower than zero. XG destroy equation. So we already look into the uh, fundamental idea about the XG destroy. So now we look into the XG uh, equation, XG destroy equation. So we know that the XG destroy is equal to T naught time entropy generated. So from this entropy generated, we can expand it into the entropy balance equation. So we know that entropy in minus entropy out 
plus the entropy generated is equal to the changes of entropy of the system. So let's say uh, from this uh, entropy generated, we rearrange this equation to be something like this. So the uh, entropy generated is equal to uh, changes of the entropy of the system minus in a bracket, uh, entropy in minus entropy out. Let's say we expand this and the uh, delta S system or the changes of entropy of the system is equal to the uh, entropy of the control volume of the final minus the entropy of the control volume at the initial state. Whereas for the S in minus S out, which is entropy in minus entropy out, it is coming from the heat and also mass. So from, let's say we have a control volume here and uh, we have a Q and also we have a control volume and mass flow in and also mass flow rate out. This is an open system. So where is the delta S mass? Delta S mass, which is for the inlet and outlet condition, uh, as uh, being highlighted in the yellow color, that is the S mass in minus S mass out, which is from the mass flow rate in and mass flow rate out. So uh, the entropy generated is coming from these two, uh, these two mass flow rate. And then this is the equation of the mass flow rate in and mass flow rate out. And now we look into the delta S heat, which is entropy generated from the heat. So uh, let's say we have a S heat in and the uh, equation which I highlighted in orange color is the S heat in minus S heat out. So the equation is S heat in equal to Q in divided by TB in. Uh, and as it out equal to Q out divided by T B out. So the in and out is depends on the direction of the heat. So now the final one is the uh, control volume of the system. So delta S system, which is uh, the control volume of the initial and final condition of the system. And it is highlighted with the uh, white color. SCV, which is the entropy of the control volume at the final state minus to the entropy uh, of the control volume of the initial state. Okay, this is the end of part 6 for chapter 1. Thank you for your attention and hopefully you find, you find it useful for your study.